So, I'm sitting up here thinking, right, to myself. And I'm like, you know, um, first of all, hey, you guys. Hi. And I just was thinking about this incident in downtown Chicago. A news reporter called Black Children Thugs Criminals. This has been going on for years. They have been calling us thugs and criminals. So, anyway, everybody's no one's slow here to Trump and them storming the White House. And that mega supporters, Trump supporters, are racist. And this they are going my to do things to incite violence. Facts. So, so go look these up the youth numbers. are downtown enjoying the holiday. Most and of course, of racist Trump supporters are, are going to racist, incite violence. Not all. So people end up getting hurt. There's a saying, when you point your fingers and talk you about You know that people, saying, if you point the finger, and it's four, when you point one finger, and you got all of them pointing back at you. Stop pointing fingers and stop calling my kids thugs because you guys are the biggest thugs there is. Now, I have this to say. Black teenagers go downtown, like Mayor Lightfoot said, they go downtown because it's their city too. And they can go down there to have fun. And they went down there because I've been downtown. I work downtown Chicago. I've lived in Chicago. I've seen our youth get and harassed by police. And I down there and I go downtown So stop Chicago. it. And some days I go down there when there are holidays. <clears throat> Black children come down near teenagers to explore and have fun in their city. And they have a right to. And the police. Now this is not no. This is not new to us y'all. Why y'all acting like y'all brand new. To my sisters and brothers from another mother. Why you acting brand new. This ain't new to you. It ain't new to America. That there are racist police. And then when you run across a racist police, these youth are downtown, and there's a racist police, they will provoke them. So you think that a racist police that has authority is not going to provoke a black person, male or female, and they don't even want them in the country? Come on now. And then you're going to try to blame them? Let's not be slow here. And so the police are standing there and probably came out because they seen the youth. And so you think, oh, so the children just started it. No, let me tell you what I believe. I believe they were provoked. Okay, that's what I believe. I believe they were provoked. Also, I believe that it was a political agenda. Trump is in trial, the mega party is trying to incite violence and they're trying to make black people look incompetent. Black mayors of Chicago, they're trying to make them look incompetent. They're inciting violence. You want to know what I believe? That is what's going on here. Okay, any two time people go storm the White House and then Trump is being investigated and all this, come on now. It's, it's so clear. Even Ray Charles can see through this. I don't know why people are so blind to what's going on. Not to say. Think about it. I'm not going to sit up here. You've been calling black men and women, children, grandmothers, you've been calling us thugs for 400 years and some still to this day. you still doing it. Now think about this, people. You have some people because of all the... Uh, I'm not saying... This is what I'm not saying. I'm not saying that they're not... Um, African American people that are not evil because there are. They're just people that are evil. But oh wow, that's not our nature. But we have become a lot have of reduced our, themselves to animalistic behavior. They had the guidance. And you know <sighs> Yeah, you know what? Stop stop throwing bricks and then hiding your hands. That's what you stop doing. You throw a brick, and then the news reporter, this blonde haired blue-eyed news reporter, just sitting and talking about how our kids are thugs. 
man, if you don't get the freak out of here, if if they thugs and you you freaking demons, the things that you have done and still continue to do. True story. White kid walks in, kills seven people in the church, walks out in handcuffs. Teenagers downtown, rioting, provoked by some racist. Two of them shot dead. And instead of, oh, so you're going to tell them to get more police, what, to shoot our children? So, more police means more guns. And I realized that um, this, these people care about guns and violence and oppression more than they care about the American people. And when I say these people, these people, it's very obvious who. People that are racist, people that want money, and people that want to keep power. And you know who you are. I don't have to say who you are. I'm saying to you that how dare you? You keep allowing these racist people to abuse us. And then you've been calling us, you've been calling us names for years. Now, people like me and people that are educated or go. I'm and talking about talking both. About whether you, you set up the college or not, or whether you went to up. seek the knowledge on your own. Knowledge. I'm talking about both. Education just don't come from going to college. You know, you people that seek knowledge. Uh, God says, study to show thyself approved. Well, it's written in the Bible. Study to show thyself approved. I don't need nobody to manage what I learn. I study to show thyself approved. And by studying, I found out that baby, stop it. When I study, when I, I found leave, out that people, people, a lot of people ignore abuse people. of others when it's and not you know being done to them. And they are aware so it's going on, the but they ignore it because it's not them. Stop acting like when you do things that they don't have an effect. But this is the thing, people. We can change that. All we got to do is do good. So, instead of, um, <clears throat> instead of talking about shooting and killing people's kids, and you don't talk about killing your own and shooting them. And that's another story. But I'm going to say this, because I, I got to say this, because I lived in South Carolina. Let me tell you something. Them white kids, college students from the age of 26, well, what is it, 18, 19, not or 19, one of 21, kids or 25, was shot 28, either. to they almost shot 30, not one of their they kids, would tear that their town up. They would flip over put cars, people in the hospital, throw black, not one throw of their stuff through windows, tear that town up. And, and they, they, they weren't on the news thugs. talking about they were criminals, the thugs, and up, animals. Never, never happened. How dare you? And that's just not the only town. Stop playing these games. Ain't no little ass and no big use, y'all. Now, what we do, what we do to stop that is to educate your children. And when you're educating them, and give them fair education. Our children need education. They need love. Our children need, need safe communities. They need communities where they, they feel education. safe. They need they need no, they didn't fair get it. education. No, they didn't get it. They Think need about structure. The last years of they that need parents, grandparents, and fathers and mothers to stand up and make sure that, that the world they, they live in is fair to them. Well, God's daughter here is to tell and fair to all American it. children. If you want to change the behavior, change yours. Period. It starts with the one in the mirror. Change your behavior and become trusting God for real, for real. And not in your gun. Because what the gun is going to do, it's going to destroy us from the inside. You know, then in America will be no more. Because all those things of old has passed away. And some of them didn't pass away in a good way. But this is my country. This is our country. I want to live good. Stop the BS. You play these races games. You allow this stuff to go on. And okay, this now I'm off y'all. Now I'm to my people. To you young people. Let me tell you something. Or maybe I can't tell you nothing. But I'm going to say this. God allowed older people, parents, grandmothers, older people, People that are mature that have lived longer here for a reason. 
So you should listen to someone. And if you are out here just harming people, it ain't the fact that nobody, how you going to listen to somebody? I've seen this girl, young man, how you going to listen to somebody call you a thug? How you going to make somebody make you a thug because they say it? God's mind is above that. You are not what people say you are. You are who you say you are. So why would you want to call yourself a thug? Why would you want to be something lowly? Why would you allow somebody to give you a name? And you take it. Why would you allow anyone to call you an animal? You know, you know, like, if, if even if I was to say you was an animal, you don't reduce yourself to animal level. You come higher. You say what you are. Why would you call yourself a dog name? Why would 90% of the people in the world that's supposed to be so educated reduce themselves to calling themselves dog names and then try to change the word to make it suit their purpose? And if that ain't sick, I don't know what is. So, um, but I'm not, I'm not here to badger anybody because I'm a sinner like everybody else. But I just say, come higher. And stop the game, y'all. Oh, my goodness. The people that are supposed to be so mature and so educated and so all this. And, and, and so all this. And they're fearful. They don't stand up and say nothing. They just get in with the trend. Whine in. I think I said that before. I'm not trending. Like that. You know? Let's trend higher. <laughs> Let me trend higher. But anyway, y'all, I just came to say that. And people, um, downtown Chicago, um, policemen, y'all get them racist people off the... Uh, get the racist people and, and then out of positions of power over people. Into the youth. Not whatever. It's the police department and things like that. Why don't y'all come into the neighborhoods where that crime is high and, you know, have a parenting or a fathering program or a mentoring program? You're always talking about trying to kill some damn body. Why don't you talk about uplifting them? Oh, the blood of Jesus. Now I got to work on my language. See, I got to work on me. Oh, my God. But anyway, I'll be back. And I'll be back, y'all. I love y'all. I love my people. I love my city. And, and when I say my people, I love people. Period, man. But charity starts at home. You got to start at home. And we're suffering the most. Even though, yes, we do have black billionaires, millionaires, we're still suffering the most as a people all over the world. So, come on, people. We're supposed to be God's people, aren't we? All of us. But anyway, I'm getting off. Because I said what I had to say. Stop throwing bricks and hiding your hands. Throw some love around, and you'll get some love back. Anyway. <laughs>